So, bus interrogation. What is it exactly? Mind you, it has been around before Pro Tools 10, but it was only available on the Icon Integrated Console. So, only people who used to have the Integrated Console would be able to use this feature before Pro Tools 10. But now, with Pro Tools 10, it has been introduced inside the software itself. So what it really does, it lets you select or show tracks based on the track input, output assignment, send assignment, or even hardware insert assignment. So this can be really useful for quickly identifying all tracks that use a specific input, internal bus, output bus, or hardware insert. The way you would use it, so let's say I wanted to see or to show only the tracks that are going to my reverb bus. Just right click on my reverb bus on any of the tracks that is using it and then I will show only assignments to reverb. So boom, there you are. We're only seeing the tracks that are going to my reverb bus along with the auxiliary input that is actually using the reverb bus. So let's say now I want to go back to my original view which was obviously showing all tracks. Just right click again on any reverb bus on any of these tracks and just restore previously shown tracks. There you go. Now the tricky part is if I were to do some nested bus interrogation, that's what I call nested bus interrogation which means that two steps inside the bus interrogation process. Let me explain more. So again, I want to show only the assigned tracks to my reverb bus and then now I want to show the tracks that are going to my delay bus. So show only assignments to delay. Now I want to go back one step, right click, restore previously shown tracks, there you go. But now if I want to go back one step as well, which is going back to my show all tracks view, whoops, no option down here. So I can only go back one step. The work around that would be the way I would do it. I typically usually for any occasion store a whole lot of memory locators before I start my session out of which one that is the show all tracks memory locator. The way I would do that is just to go ahead and create a memory locator with the track show height check general properties and set this to none and I would call it show all. I personally usually store it under the number 20 which is personal preference you can do whatever you want on your end and so I'm gonna redemonstrate what I just did again while using the memory locator to be able to recall the original view which is show all tracks. So show me only the tracks that are going to the reverb bus, show only tracks that are going to my delay bus Okay, I want to go back one step, but then hey, you know what, I want to see all tracks now. So just boom, recall the marker or memory locator number 20 and I'm able to show all tracks. Now obviously you can do it some other ways by going in here in the track show hide menu by clicking the show all tracks or by option clicking any of the tracks that are hiding and it will obviously just show all tracks again. It's up to you really to use whatever method you'd like. There's another thing that I need to show you which is rather than just hiding all tracks and showing the ones that are going to this bus, you have two other options as well that are pretty self-explanatory which is the select assignment to the specific bus. So this option selects all tracks that use a specific input internal bus, output bus or hardware insert, in this case it's going to be the reverb bus. So as you can see Pro Tools is selecting the tracks that are using the specific bus. Other than that you have another option that is the show assignments to reverb. So this option shows all tracks including hidden tracks that use a specific input internal bus, output bus or hardware insert. Uh, all other tracks remain shown as well. So if I'm going to go ahead and just for demonstration purpose hide the overhead track and just right click and show assignments to reverb, boom, the overhead track is showing now, although it was hiding because it's going to the reverb track. Other than that, you have the feature that is hitting the option key 
while doing whatever command out of these three. What the option key does, it's going to even show you the tracks that are using one subpath of the main path that you are looking at. So let's say if one track is only using bus 1 and not bus 1 and 2 together and you are interrogating bus 1 and 2 together and you'd like to see even the tracks that are using a subpath, so either bus 1 alone or bus 2 alone, that would work and you would be able to see these tracks that are only using one subpath while hitting the option key and accessing one of these three commands.